Welcome to the channel, Essential Handyman here. It's 27th of December, Christmas Day and Boxing Day has been and gone. And we're a day after Boxing Day. Santa's come, left all these presents. Hope everyone's had a wonderful Christmas break. You've been happy and healthy and you've avoided the corona. Self-isolation has been a thing of the past and you've enjoyed a really nice Christmas. So um, Merry Christmas to you all and looking forward to the new year now. So today I thought I'd come into the shop and show you just some items I've been buying from Facebook Marketplace and eBay over the last sort of week and a bit. I've uh, got a little bit of a mini tool haul here that may interest some of you. Um, some of the items are of interest to me. Some of the items I've, I've bought as part of a bigger job lot. But some of the items are not really interested in those bigger items. You know, you buy 10 because you want three items, for example. Some of the ones I'll just sort of give away or I might stick into the... Um, the tool set I'm putting aside for my kids. Reminds me of a story actually, because I was listening to Scout Crafter the other day and he's talking about his junior toolbox. And he's actually got a picture of like a wooden toolbox on there, which brought me back to a Christmas years and years ago. Let me tell you about it. I think I was about, well, I must have been less than seven because we moved from Walthamstow in East London when I was seven. Now one Christmas I got bought a junior carpenter's tool set. So it was a wooden box with saws, hammers, screwdrivers, pair of pliers, all uh, tape measure, etc. All different bits and pieces in it, and I loved it. Uh, for a few days, I'd been going around, and Mum and Dad had been walking around. They'd go to go in the kitchen, for example, and I'd pull the handle off in their hand. I'd gone around and I'd undone all the screws on the on the handles, etc. But my dad said one day he was um, he was sitting in the lounge reading a newspaper, and he just thought to himself. It's too quiet. It's far too quiet because Ian's normally really noisy. Something's wrong. This shouldn't be this level of quietness. So he's walked around the house and couldn't find me. And he walked outside and I'm sitting on a pavement. And my next door neighbour but one, Stephen, one of my old friends, he also had been bought the same junior carpenter's tool set. And him and I are each side of a wooden telegraph pole soaring. <laughs> <laughs> we're soaring into this telegraph pole with our brand new carpenter sets. And my dad said I'd gone about a third of the way through. Stephen had gone about a third of the way through. But luckily we were about 12 inches apart in height. We weren't doing it at the same level. He said, but you run over there and grabbed it off of us. No, 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 no. So I just, it was a funny story I thought I'd tell you about buying, getting junior uh, tools for Christmas. Yeah, many moons ago, that one well, sort of 40 odd years ago now. So anyway, uh, let me show you what I got in the uh, in the tool halls recently. First of all, let's start with non-tools. I saw this. It is a Stormtrooper, Star Wars Stormtrooper decanter. How cool is that? I'm going to fill this up with... I'm not a great whiskey or brandy drinker, so maybe I'm going to put some port in there or something. Still Christmas period. A little bit of port and cheese. How cool is that? Five quid that cost me on a... Facebook Marketplace. I thought that was a great deal. Um, now, I've got a couple of spoke shaves. These are both Stanley, both brand new. They're not sort of 151s or anything. So if you have a look there, that one is a straight one. That one is a convex one. Both of these are fully adjustable. Two spoke shaves for 12 quid. Never been used, both brand new. I thought that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal to be honest with you. What else did I get? Now I love tape measures, and I especially like leather tape measures. So I got this one. This one's got a little bit of work needed refurbishing it. Looks like it's got a bit of tar on there or something, but I'm pretty sure I can get that off and give this a little bit of a TLC and bring this back to its former glory. But I really like this. It's a 30 meter tape measure. Um, it's got acid increments of um, centimetres on one side and inches on the other going up as I say going up to 30 metres with a wooden a sorry wooden a leather handle on the other side and a brass winding knob that was five pounds so for five pound I don't think you can go wrong for that I love a little bit of tan leather goods I really like that now, the rest of these items were all part of a job lot, uh, and so, this is what I was alluding to earlier, some of this stuff I'm not interested in. In this job lot, 
we've got a tyre inflator for a air compressor. I don't have an air compressor at the moment. This may come in handy in the future, probably will. So I'll keep this to one side and I'll use this in the future. We've got a Woden 6 inch 126 stroke 6 G clamp. Now I like the look of this. Woden made in England. This will be a nice little project. I'll do this up. Uh, if I had a bad chance, I'd have done this for Tool Addict and uh, Jack Shed's challenge over Christmas, but I never got around to it. So a 6 inch clamp there. <coughs> Lovely. This comes with a little leather sheath. Now, I don't know what these are. Are these for bonsai trees or are they just normal garden snipping? This was one of the three items that I was particularly interested in. This isn't one of the three. I just thought it was a good item. Um, I like those. I'm going to do those up, refurbish those, and put them in my garden shed for um, pottering around the garden. <sighs> An absolute rubbish riveting gun. This is going straight in the bin. What else have we got here? Actually, I don't know who that's made by. Don't know if it says it on it. It just looks like a junk metal. Um, this is another riveting gun. Again, load of nonsense. I've got a new, a decent riveting gun, a standy one, so I'm going to use that one. Two rubbish studio hacksaws. This is either going to go in the bin or get given to someone. They're not worth a carrot. There's one of these <clears throat> Vitrex, place plugs, rubbishy, tile cutting saws. No interest in me that. No one of them. No interest in me either. How do I make that one? Not something that interests me. I've got I've got those one of those already and a couple of um, motorised tile cutters. A it's called a uh, a jack. It's just a tenon saw. Um, may get some use but I don't think so I, t I tend to buy better tenor saws than that I like the wooden ones so that's probably going to go in a bin I'm going to give them to someone this isn't too bad actually uh, a coping saw it's a nice wooden handle although it's blue it's nice so I'm going to refurbish this up and I think I'm going to keep this one I quite like the look at this I may take the blue off and see if I can get it back down to normal wood or I might keep it I might be painting blue or maybe even give it a little bit of Essential Handyman Red, because I like that, as you know. So that one now, I am going to keep. Um, we had a, uh, a home base by the looks of it. Just a rip saw. That's going to go in the bin. No interest there. Um, this is item number two I was interested in. And one of the reasons I, I bought this lot was this. It's a Barco nail puller. And I know... Ben from Tool Addict collects Barco stuff and he did have one of these and he gave it to someone else he gave it on so I thought uh, I'd buy this and uh, send it over to Ben for him to refurbish or put in his collection so there's a Barco now put it there and the main item that I wanted this um, lot for is a um, is this wooden saw now it's the same shape as a hacksaw if you look, it's almost got like a tile cutting blade on it. I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. Get a new one of these and use it. I don't know. If anyone's got any uh, knowledge of what these are in the... Please can you leave a comment. It looks, as I say, it looks like a tile cutting saw. A little bit like these rubbishy place plugs one. But it's in a style of the other two hacksaws I bought recently. I recently bought a footprint one and an eclipse one. Um, and I, I just love these old patinaed metal saws with the wooden handles. I'm going to give this a little bit of a refurb. I've got no idea. I can't see a maker's mark anywhere. I don't know if anyone can see anything. But this was the item. The main item I bought a lot for this. Closely followed by the... Um, the Barco nail puller. Yeah, so I've got three of these saws. Let me show you those. So this is a new one I've recently bought. Um, this is the one with the tile cutter blade that I showed you just a moment ago. 
This is an Eclipse one I bought recently. I think that was Facebook Marketplace. Looks very similar shape. And this is a footprint one, again, I bought recently. Again, off of Facebook Marketplace. And all three of those look very similar, don't they? These have obviously got hacksaw blades in, the Eclipse and the footprint. But this name yet to be seen. Give it a little bit of a clean up. Hopefully a name may pop out of there. It's got a different blade. So, yeah, if you can put your put a comment in, if you know what that's for. Am I right? Is it a tile cutting blade or has it got another use I don't know about please enlighten me please pass on your knowledge so that's the end of the video I uh, hope you enjoyed the little walk down memory lane with me back to when I was seven years old with my uh, junior carpenter saw sawed away at a uh, telegraph pole outside my house and uh, the quick tool hoard just showed you there as I say if you know what saws saw that blade goes to leave it in the comment I'll be very interested to know and as always, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button, give me a thumbs up, always helps build up small channels like mine, and I hope you have enjoyed your Christmas and you really enjoy your new year, and I'll sure I'll speak to you soon. See ya, bye.